This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com, the show where we visit builders across America to get a first-hand look at their boat building techniques, materials, and stories. Hi, and welcome to Boats.com's Factory Friday. I'm Marilyn Demartini, and earlier this morning, our sister company, Boat Trader, took this Pursuit 428 Sport on a sea trial. It was beautiful. And now we're here at the factory to explore how these boats are made. Pursuit has been very busy in the past year, expanding their facility and their workforce to keep up with the robust demand this year. We're gonna meet up with Mark Takelet. He's the director of brand management, and he's gonna give us a tour of the factory to show us all the behind the scenes of how Pursuits are built. So let's go. Well, Mark, there's a lot of space, a lot of people, and a lot going on here at Pursuit. And earlier we talked about how it all starts with a bale of resin. Yeah. But obviously Pursuit has paid attention to a lot of details in your CNC cutting of materials and fiberglass to make that a lot more precise. So tell us about the process here. Yeah, so basically everything about the boat is engineered from the ground up and we make our own patterns for all of the fiberglass parts that uh, go into what you see back here for the hulls and the decks and small parts. And we, we don't cut them with scissors, we cut it on a CNC machine. But we walk through your mold area and we see that there's a lot of different types of molds that go into each boat. So let's go see the fabric being cut and how it all comes together. Okay, sounds good. Wow, we've got miles of fiberglass here. And so every piece is cut on this CNC machine? Yep. And then you said the fabric is all put together in kits that go together for each boat. Yep, that's right. That's right, and by, by doing it this way, not only is it really efficient, but at the same time, you know, every piece is cut exactly the way we want it. And the way the fabrics are engineered with the grain going certain directions, it allows us to cut them exactly the proper way every time so that the technicians don't have to really think about it too much when they're laying it out. It only, it's only gonna fit one way. And so they put these kits together and then they send it out to the shop floor on those racks and there they start building the boat from that. And so from here, then it goes into infusion? Infusion and open molding too. So it kind of goes into all the different uh, uh, aspects of the lamination process. But uh, infusion is especially uh, important because it's all designed to overlap itself inside the mold and get the heater down before they pull the resin through. And get a nice even distribution yeah, of the resin. That's Let's right. go see that next. Okay, it sounds good. So after all that fiberglass is cut and numbered, it's all come here to be laid on this mold, right? Yep, that's right. So you can see over here where you've got the engineered fabrics and their, their grain direction goes here. So they lay them out on each one of these pieces here and they roll it over and, and adhere it down. And what you're seeing here is the plastic that gets installed over top of it. And this is all thrown away. So uh, this is all disposable. So you see the, the tubes and the pipes that all gets installed at one time. And there's a, a, there's a strip that goes around the perimeter for an airtight seal. So then they'll start pulling air through it and, and vacuuming the resin through this whole entire mold. So you get the perfect glass to resin ratio. And this is a mold of the bottom that shows your stringer system, which is very sophisticated, that provides the smooth ride that the pursuits are known for. Yeah, that's right. We call that our structural grid system. And it's extremely strong. It's got an I-beam uh, support and uh, basically like a hat man stringer type of design. And our transom is a uh, patented transom design that gives a lot more structural rigidity to the transom of the boat itself and spreads the load throughout the stringer system. And speaking of strength, we have another example here of what you do to inject expandable foam into various parts. Yeah, so what you're seeing here is a really unique uh, system for us. We, we uh, uh, hand make all of our windshield systems for our uh, dual consoles and offshores and uh, some of our uh, center consoles too, depending on the, depending on the model. Uh, but what you see here is a two-part mold and it gets injected with foam to give it more structural rigidity inside the fiberglass part. It gets pulled out of this part and then it gets finished afterwards and then installed on the boat. So while all of this is going on, 
We have a whole other setup going on in woodshop and upholstery, right? So that all of these things are happening simultaneously to build the boat. Yeah, so basically when they pull the trigger to start uh, putting the resin and the gel coat on the molds, um, they'll also be making cabinets and upholstery at the same time. So when it gets to assembly, it all comes together and they start putting it together at the same time. And you said you're building, depending on the size of the boat, uh, each boat in about 21 days. So everything's got to keep on the schedule, I'm assuming. Yeah, absolutely. That's very important to us. And uh, if we say the boat's going to be there on a certain day, it's going to be there on a certain day. <laughs> well, let's go see wood shop and upholstery next. Okay, sounds good. Well, as a carpenter's daughter, I love the smell of sawdust. But I see it's not just the wood for the interiors and the boat structure that's cut here. It's your foam, your laminates, even your acrylics and fiberglass are all cut on these CNC machines. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, we really try to manage our own destiny. Really, by having all those materials in-house, we just buy the raw goods and we manufacture everything ourselves. It helps us manage quality control, and at the same time, it ensures that we have parts on time and we're not at the mercy of another vendor to get the parts in-house. Really, really important. And the parts are cut precise every single time. Well, we can see that pursuit is very precise. That's right. So from here, do we go into upholstery? Yeah, let's go check out the upholstery department. All right. Okay. Nope. So all of that dry, fast foam that we saw out there becomes upholstery and cushions here. Yep, that's right. That's right. So uh, virtually all of our upholstery, we make it ourselves in-house. We, we cut uh, the fabrics on another one of those CNC machines like we saw cutting the fiberglass. So we do, do that with our fabrics as well. Um, we do purchase some of our uh, helm seats, but most of the other stuff is actually made it right in-house, right here, uh, what you see behind us. And that's uh, where we do our own stitch work patterning, cutting, and uh, everything that you see here. And surprisingly, with all the precision and all the technical expertise that you have, a lot of work still has to be done by hand. And this is a great example of that. That's right. I mean, actually, uh, we have a lot of people that come through our facility and are really surprised at how much of the boat is built by hand by, uh, you know, craftspeople. <laughs> it's really important. Yeah, it is real craftsmanship that goes into, into every boat. Yeah. So after all these pieces come together, where do we go next? Well, the next step is everything comes together in the assembly building. That's right over there. All right, let's take it. Look. Okay, sounds good. This looks very organized, Mark. Yeah, we actually spend a lot of time making sure that we keep the shop as clean and organized as we can for safety purposes and for uh, just overall organization and speed through the process. And uh, speaking of that, one thing that we do, as you'll notice, is all the boats, instead of going one direction down the factory here, they're off to the side. We call that station building. And what that means is basically we can put any model we want in each one of these cells so we can kind of mix up the production as we need to. So we're not stuck with one particular model going down a line. Waiting for a part or waiting for something else to come together. Yeah, or if demand increases for one model and decreases for another, we can, we can kind of react to that on the fly. And, and one thing that you'll notice over here in this rack is these uh, fiberglass parts. These are the windshield frames that we were looking at back in the lamination department. So where they're in that uh, kind of, uh, you know, gnarly looking mold, that's what's, what comes out of it. Ah, and I can even see that there's the foam on the inside of that yeah. that's holding it together. Yep, that's right. It looks a lot better there, doesn't it? Looks like a beautiful, clean yeah. part. Look but again, there. these are really intricate parts right here. And we, we build those out, of, out, you know, by hand. And, uh, you know, one of the other things that we do in this manufacturing plant, so as we walk our way around the facility here on the outside perimeter, is we have station build areas where we try to build as much of the fiberglass parts out with hardware, uh, wiring and everything else before it actually gets in the boat. So all we have to do is just lift it up and drop it on and we're ready to rock and roll. You make your own harnesses as well, correct? Yeah, we sure do. In fact, uh, we should probably check that uh, area out as well. It's really nice. All right, let's go see it. Okay. This is impressive looking. Yeah, this is our wire harness department. So basically we manufacture every one of our wire harnesses from scratch. All those spools of wire back there, we pull them right straight off the spools and run them along these tables here where we have these uh, uh, you know, in-house made patterns for each model. And everybody that you see here, they're actually wiring everything up and running them to these pegs. And we'll terminate and attach our own Deutsch connectors on the ends of each one of them so they're watertight. 
And this way we can control the quality and uh, the quantity and we're not at the mercy of another vendor to make these parts for us. Excellent. Yeah. So where do we go from here? Well, I think uh, we could probably go to the end of the assembly line and I could show you where the boats go to get out the door. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. So Mark, this is the literal end of the line. Yeah, it sure is. And uh, you know, at this point, now you've got the, the deck installed on the hull. And by this time, you've also gone through several different stages of uh, quality control measures too. So we don't just do it at the very end. We do those quality control uh, checks all the way through the whole entire process. So by the time it gets here, we have very little to take care of, except for to get it out of here and into the test pool. And what happens there? Well, in the test pool, that's where we actually drop the boat in the water and we test all of the systems. We turn everything on except for the engines in the pool. Um, and we'll actually water test everything. We'll fill all the fish boxes up, we'll fill the bait wells, everything all the way full to make sure we don't have any water leaks anywhere and go through full systems checks and one more quality control measure at the same time, which we kind of consider to be the last uh, point of defense. So then after the boat gets done with the water test, does it get sea trialed or shipped off to the dealer? Yeah, some of them get sea trialed. Not every single boat gets sea trialed. Um, but some of them do, and then they come back here and they go right back over into the shipping bay. They get the shrink wrap put on them, depending on where they're going, and then they get trucked to where they're going to go. Well, thank you, Mark, for this fabulous tour of the Pursuit Factory. Congratulations on keeping up with the demand that's going on in the boating industry right now. Yeah, thank you. It's something we're really proud of. And thank you for joining us for Factory Fridays here on Boats.com. This is Factory Fridays from Boats.com. Follow Boats.com on YouTube and Instagram to stay tuned for the next episode. Visit Boats.com for more videos and boat-related content. Boats.com. Everything Boats.